Okay, uh, we want to send our project somewhere. Let's say we want to archive it off to a network drive or email it to a colleague or tech support. How would we go about that? So we can take our project and then uh, either use the file option to export it, or if you right click on the project, you get the same option here, so export. And what we're looking for is to export the file to an archive. We'll click next in here, and you can see it gives us an option to save as a, a zip or a tar format. Here's our entire project, by the way, it's taking all of our files. We are going to save this to our desktop, and let's go ahead and call this archive onezip So here we can see it's uh, putting it on our desktop, archive onezip and we'll go ahead and click finish see on our desktop if that arrived. Yes, it did. So there's archive1.zip. So we've saved that away as an archive. So if I delete and remove all of this project from the workspace, like so, we should be able to prove that we can then bring that back. Let's say we've emailed it somewhere, uh, or we've stored it away on the network for a few months. Now we come back and we're going to import that. We're looking for an existing project at this point. We saved it as an archive file, but we're going to import it as an existing project. We're going to ask e -squared Studio to be smart about this and unpack it as an e -squared Studio project. Uh, we're not going to go look in the root directory. No, we've got an archive file, so let's browse for that. Remember it was on the desktop. Archive 1 was its name, and it's discovered that there was a project in there called New Project. When we click finish, there is our existing project. And if I control B build this, everything should be just fine. For more information on eSquared Studio, including documentation and downloads, go to renaissance.com slash e2studio.